In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA playoff bets for Wednesday, April 24th. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our April 24th NBA playoff bet slate we got going on. But before I deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon, all right? We're going to talk about that very, very soon. But right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel, uh, currently at 44 Six thousand subscribers continue to show love and support our next goal is 10k all right we're, we're, we're trying to reach for the top reach for kyle crims and all those guys it's not even all those guys it's not many people in the game or in this lane right now that are really doing big numbers there's one particular guy right now that i know of uh kyle crims he has he's at like 80k hopefully we can we can get to his level and surpass that's the goal all right that's the real goal but right now we're going to aim for 10k guys if you're already subscribed continue to like and comment so that I can reach um everyone else in that youtube algorithm it'll reach out to everyone else we pull everyone in here to bring us an even stronger community than we're building right now all right so if you're not subscribed i don't know why not you're missing out on great con content you're missing out on craziness down below in that comment section the proof is down there each and every video look at that comment section if you have any question of what i provide all right let alone the patreon look at that comment section each and every single time i'm trying to give you guys literally the winning ingredients all right for free for free pretty much so Continue to show love and support. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right now. All right. And for the Patreon, we were on fire for that Monday slate here. 76ers plus four and a half. Uh, we had I had a same game parley with the Cavaliers just to get plus money here. It's just simple overs. Donovan Mitchell, Bancharo, points over for Mobley, rebounds over. Just something really simple to just double up, hit that. 76 was yet again plus five that was too much value right there combination of Cavs and lakers that was the nba community parlay that i gave out that smash uh seven and a half i thought that was way too many points for the la lakers in a game two spot baseball even came through with twins cardinals and padres and look at the clients these are the clients in the patreon so you can see these tickets eight for 74 right this is on the instagram if you're paying attention to instagram i posted the winning tickets on there uh 30 for 470 come on 30 for 470 he took those plays literally from the video straight from the video look at this again straight from the video to a slip 30 bucks for 472 the under the Cavs money line this the points with 76ers uh it was a beautiful parlay um and then last but not least we have one of the the members put a heavy amount here 250 went over two thousand dollars on the selections that i provided so the the proof is right there continue to support and if you want to sign up for that patreon that link is provided down below first game up on the wednesday slate we got the miami heat here 46 and 36 going up against the boston celtics 64 and 18 one versus eight here miami heat um at a plus 775 with the comeback of the boston celtics at a minus 1400 all right huge favorites here um home favorites in the boston celtics so current point spread same one as as the first game all right 14 and a half they they are not changing anything and the total is set at 203 all right the in game one they reached the over and scored 208 points in that in that game so slightly over in that one looking at the current public bet percentage 95 percent of the bets 75 percent of the money towards the celtics money line for the point spread 67 percent of the bets 76 percent of the money towards the miami heat to cover 14 and a half and in the total 95 percent of the bets 96 percent of the money towards the over 203 and a half all right for the injury report miami heat 
same story all right no one's coming back no jimmy butler no terry rozier you're gonna have to deal with the same scenario here in game two with bam Adebayo, tyler hero duncan robinson guys like that all right boston celtics clean slate of health as well for them if we're looking at game one they covered the spread the boston celtics that score was 114 to 94 which you're seeing right here the key factor in this game was pretty much the three-point shooting all right they were shooting the three-point ball 45 percent compared to the miami heat at 32.4 all right they out they shot 10 more threes than them and this is this is the boston celtics this is the number two team in the league at shooting three-point ball, all right? And Tatum shot horribly. He shot one for eight from the three-point line. That's not going to happen again. If he gets going, then that just doesn't bode well, all right, for them. Uh, I don't see an avenue for the Miami Heat to, like, have an opportunity. Maybe they could cover, but the, the problem is they can't stop the Boston Celtics. They just can't stop them, and they can't keep up pace with them. So... Point blank period in this in, in in this one here for the odds. We're going right back to that. Well, I, I suggest you guys take that first half money line. I mean, first half point line. If it's at eight and a half, it, hopefully it's at seven. If, if you can get seven between seven and eight and a half, take it. Boston Celtics first half minus eight and a half. Love it. Lock it in. Take that. Or you can take the full spread. Take the 14 and a half. I think they'll cover that yet again. Also, for the total, we're going back with the over. Miami can't stop the Celtics. They're going to put up a ton of points. Miami is going to be forced to pick up pace and try to score points to keep up pace with Boston. And that's going to trend towards the over. All right. So that's a clean sweep right there. Celtics point line first half. Celtics full game point spread and the over 203 and a half. Last but not least here, we have the New Orleans Pelicans 49 and 33 going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder 57 and 25. Um, one versus eight yet again here. All right. We saw a closely contested game in game one between the Thunder and the New Orleans Pelicans. Looking at the current line. Thunder at home as home favorites minus 350 on the money line with the comeback of the Pelicans at a plus 260. The current point spread is at a plus seven and a half. All right. They're giving you the same uh, same line yet again. OK, yet again. All right. So looking at the total 210 and a half. All right. Um, public bet percentage here. 91 percent of the bets, 78 percent of the money all over the Thunder. Uh, for the point spread, 72% of the bet, 72% of the money on the Pelicans to cover. And for the total here, 80% of the bets and 76% of the money towards the over 210 and a half. All right. Injury report, clean slate of health for, not clean slate of health. Zion's not playing. Okay. Zion's not playing and Oliver Zar is literally no one and he's not playing. So we get the same scenario here as uh as in game one in game two yet again and there was a story to be told if you paid attention in that game all right if you paid attention in that pelicans game i get it i even had i was very confident in the thunder but i thought about it i was like hold on it's not, not adding up something is not adding up and this is going to be a closer series than you think all right despite the fact this is one versus eight because the whole western conference is very tight and very competitive. If Zion was healthy in this series, Thunder be in trouble, all right? The problem with the Thunder is they don't have a center, and it's glaring. It's very, very glaring. If you're looking at the rebounds uh, department, the Pelicans out-rebounded the Thunder by eight rebounds. That's, that's not a big discrepancy, but those offensive rebounds were huge. 18 offensive rebounds compared to eight all those second chance opportunities were back breaking against the thunder all right they could not they had trouble trying to rebound and out rebound and contest and and block out Jonas Valachunas. he had a field day he had 20 rebounds nine offensive rebounds 11 defensive rebounds he had him a day 
And when he's gone, then you have the scrappy Larry Nance that's big enough, has great athleticism to bang down low as well. This team here has, does a great job with their length to, to help rebound as well. So that's going to be the advantage for the Pelicans here going up against the OKC Thunder. Because when you're looking at the lineup of the Thunder, they literally have nobody that can rebound. Chet Holgram is like a Slim Jim compared to Jonas Valachunas. That's a huge problem. So they're going to have to try to gain rebound the OKC Thunder. If Chet Holgram gets in foul trouble, that's going to be a huge problem as well. Hopefully that doesn't happen to them or they'll be destroyed on the boards. All right. Look at this lineup. Where's the other center that you see? If the Thunder had Steven Adams, that would be a, that would be a freaking godsend because that's what they need. They need a veteran big center that can just get rebounds they need a tristan thompson they need anyone anyone who do they have i don't they don't have they just have a bunch of forwards this is going to be a glaring problem here in game two i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now this moment right now we're going to be taking the pelicans again here uh plus seven and a half that's this is too many points to me this is too many points to me uh, the only way the Thunder could cover this number is if they explode offensively, but the rebounds is a killer. It is a big problem uh, that I see, unless they're just making literally every single shot. All right. So other than that, we're going to take uh, the value there in the plus seven and a half. We're going to take the, the total here with the under two ten and a half. The other part about the OKC Thunder, other other than the rebounding, this is a very young team with no experience. All right. Willie Green, if we're looking at it, he at least he has seven games of playoff experience. All right. To coach. And he has veterans and Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum and Larry Nance. He has guys that have been Jonas Valachunas. Those are veterans. This young team here in the OKC Thunder, their their average age is 24 years old. Who are they leaning on? What veteran are they leaning on other than Gordon Hayward? Gordon Hayward that they're leaning on as a veteran presence in this locker room. That is not enough. As you can see, Mark D. D Mark D. Janault, the coach of the Thunder, that was his first playoff game. All right. That he, he scraped away with a win. Solid win. You got away with that. But we're talking about value here. So give me the plus seven and a half. Give me the un under 210 and a half. And Pelicans could be as a, a live underdog. Let you guys know that right now. If you want to sprinkle on that money line. OK, so um, I'm just letting you guys know to watch out for that rebound department. And you take advantage of the fact that this Thunder team is very, very young and inexperienced. This is going to be a learning situation here in this in this series between the Pelicans. The Pelicans are going to push them to the brink. All right. And it's going to have to come down to fourth quarter magic by SGA and the others to pull out these wins. OK, uh, so as of right now for this game, love the plus seven and a half and the under two ten and a half. We just have two games on that Wednesday slate. So short and sweet right there. Let me know in that comment section down below uh, if you have any other suggestions in that first game between the Celtics and the Heat or this game here in the Pelicans and the Thunder. All right. Comment down below um if you have any props as well and also if you want premium picks you gotta sign up for the the patreon we're gonna have stuff available for the nfl draft that's gonna be on thursday as well so sign up right now that link is provided down below and i'll be back with another video very soon all right peace out